Crazy Pixel. Night drives are always nice, right? Well, what if a relaxing night drive ends up taking a turn for the worst? This is the scenario you have to deal with in the narrative-driven murder mystery adventure from Black Muffin and Monkey Moon. While the game catches your attention at first, especially thanks to the cast of characters you meet, unfortunately, repetitive and underdeveloped gameplay can make the game a challenge to finish. I'm Brad Crespo, and this is Noisy Pixel's review of Night Call. In Night Call, there's a serial killer on the loose in modern-day Paris. With the killer running loose, the number of victims continues to rise. The police have tried catching the culprit behind all these killings, yet as hard as they try, they still can't seem to get the job done. This is where you come in, as not only are you a taxi driver, but you also happen to be the last person to see the most recent victim alive. Since the police suspect that you are the killer, there's only one way out. Prove your innocence by helping the police obtain info by chatting with passengers. This tough task also has to be done while making enough money to pay all your bills. It's a rather difficult spot to be in, wouldn't you say? Clearly, it's this situation alone that will reel you in at first. Also, given that there are multiple paths that you can take on and different endings that can happen based on your choices, the game is even more intriguing. While in the grand scheme of things, Night Call sounds interesting and non-linear, its gameplay does struggle a bit to stray from being repetitive. Gameplay basically narrows down to two things being a taxi driver and engaging in choice-driven conversations with passengers, and also piecing together clues to try to deduce a conclusion for the murder mystery case. The taxi driver side of gameplay is relatively engaging, especially for those that appreciate visual novels or text-heavy narratives, but the investigation part just feels more like a chore than anything. While I at first thought I'd get tired of doing the taxi side of things over and over again, I found that I never got bored, and it's due to the wildly original cast of characters, or for the game passengers, who all have their own unique stories to tell. However, while this sounds good, I feel that the choices I made with each passenger didn't really affect how things played out. With that said, specific character storytelling is Night Call's strong suit, but unfortunately, other gameplay elements lack in drawing the player's attention and simply aren't fleshed out well enough. This issue is especially relevant with all the case solving you need to do in the game. Unfortunately, you can't really dive deep into this as the details provided are way too sparse and minimal, and oftentimes I was wondering what I needed to do or look out for. This is just one of the many examples of how the game fails to capture your attention and lets you truly be a part of its world. That aside, it's clear that Night Call has a gorgeous noir presentation. Characters specifically are wonderfully done. While the character designs are noteworthy, the game's world could have used the same attention to detail. But hey, at least the game's soundtrack ties in well with the overall vibe. In the end though, Night Call does have characters that you can't help but be drawn to and an interesting choice-based dialogue system. However, since the game lacks in being engaging on all other fronts, you might lose interest pretty quickly. So the question lies, is Night Call a murder mystery worth solving? I would say yes, only if you can look past all of its rough spots. Noise Pixel is giving Night Call a 6.3 out of 10. Thanks for watching. You can read our full review at NoisyPixel.net. Noise Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all of our future content.